Shout out to the ankle bullies. Naughty Gang Stand Up, you know who it is. It's your boy Shake, and it's time for my NBA 2K19 Ultimate, Ultimate Dribbling, Dribbling tutorial. tutorial. Since we crawl before we can walk, we'll start off with the basics and lead into the advanced momentum and park dribbles. There's been quite a few changes, and I have a lot to cover. So let's begin with the triple threat. This is also great if you don't have a 90 ball control. To jab step, you wanna tap the right stick left, right, or towards your defender. New to NBA 2K19 is the triple threat size up. To pull this off, while in a triple threat, simply hold sprint and tap the right stick towards your defender. Every player has these moves and there's a lot to choose from for your my player. Another great way to get to the basket is the triple threat spin move. This one's pretty easy. While on the triple threat stance, simply rotate the right stick in a half circle. Now let's see how fast Russell Westbrook can do it. And here's a quick tip. If you rotate the right stick towards your pivot foot, that's the foot you cannot move, you'll spin even faster. Don't get over it. Signature size ups, AKA the rhythm dribbles, are back. Simply tap the right stick towards your defender while dribbling. New in NBA 2K19 are the walking size ups. Who better to showcase this than John Wall? The only difference is you must be dribbling forward before you tap the right stick towards your defender. Definitely experiment chaining combos with your walking size up. Next up is your manual crossover. You want to get better at this because it leads into advanced dribbling. Simply tap the right stick left and right. There's been a slight change to the between the legs crossover. While in a standing dribble, simply hold sprint and tap the right stick left and right. Same thing with the between the legs crossover escape. Look at the way Ben Simmons is cooking. In order to do this, you have to hold the right trigger or R2 on PlayStation, tap the right stick towards your non ball hand two times. Another manual setup move is the hesitation dribble, a highly underrated move. But if done properly, you can use it to explode to the rim. Tap the right stick towards your ball hand, then hold sprint and move the left stick towards your non-ball hand. Here's the hesitation behind the back. Tap the right stick towards your ball hand, then immediately tap the right stick away from your defender. Now for the in and out crossover. Simply hold sprint, tap the right stick towards your defender. If you forget to hold R2 or RT, you're gonna do a regular size up. Next up, the step back, and we're gonna chain this into a step back behind the back move. Hold sprint, tap the right stick away. Release sprint, tap right stick away again. Move the left stick in the direction you wanna go. Now let's take a look at Jamal Crawford's crossover behind the back move. Remember when this used to break ankles? In a standing dribble, hold sprint, tap the right stick to the right, then down. This is with absolute controls. The snatch back crossover makes its return. Same as last year, while dribbling forward, hold sprint and tap the right stick down or away from your defender. Another move that is sure to break ankles, the hard stop crossover. While in a sprinted dribble holding R2 or RT on Xbox, tap the right stick quickly to your non ball hand. If you're having trouble dropping defenders, this move will definitely do it. Now a personal favorite of mine, the half spin snatchback. This move combos two dribbles that can drop a defender. From the ball hand, move the right stick in a quarter circle towards your defender. Hold sprint, tap the right stick down or away from your defender. Now who doesn't love the double behind the back move? Everybody has this move as well. And if you're creating a my player, definitely experiment. Simply double tap the right stick down or away from your defender. Be careful, some of these moves require a lot more stamina. These next moves will help you while dribbling in transition. To do this running crossover behind the back, while running tap the right stick right, then down. Now this is the running in and out crossover that I chained into a behind the back move. While sprinting, tap the right stick up, release sprint, then tap the right stick down or away from your defender. This is another very underrated move that works really well at the park. 
works even better in the NBA. How many of you guys remember when Sean Livingston did an in and out behind the back to James Harden? I don't know why, but it feels like spin moves launch you forward this year. Especially if you have a dunker, someone's getting posterized. While sprinting, rotate the right stick from the ball hand to the non-ball hand. Tim Hardaway still has the fastest double crossover. Just tap the right stick left to right very quickly while sprinting, and you'll pull this off with ease. And just like last year, Kevin Durant still has the best behind the back moves. While sprinting, just tap the right stick down or away from your defender. In this case, I did it twice. We did the basics, the manual dribbles, the sprinting dribbles. Now it's time for some advanced dribbles. To momentum dribble, tap the right stick to your non-ball hand, then immediately hold sprint. I'm in the 2KU freestyle, one of the best places to practice this. Now let's say your ball control is not high enough for you to speed boost with the momentum dribble. Doing the same action as a momentum dribble will give you a hop speed boost. This is the animation you're looking for. Take a look at Brandon Roy as he gets a lot of space on Dwayne Wade. Now instead of the momentum snatchback, like in 2K18, we get the momentum sham god. First you're gonna initiate the momentum dribble. Tap the right stick towards your non-ball hand, immediately hold sprint, then tap down or away from your defender. If you do it fast enough, you get this animation. Now who could forget about the momentum behind the back move? To do this, start the momentum dribble, then immediately tap the right stick down and the left stick up to the left or up to the right, depending on which direction you want to go behind your back. Dribble gods love this move. This is the momentum spin move. This is a great way to reset your dribbles. Simply initiate the momentum dribble, then immediately rotate the right stick in a half circle from your ball hand to your non-ball hand. None of this works unless you practice the momentum dribble. The momentum spin move can also be used to launch you towards the rim. Look how fast Michael Jordan does his. I need to see his dribble packages so I can get this for my my player. Another fan favorite from 2K17 to 18 is the hop jumper. I'm so glad they brought this back in all its glory. While dribbling forward, simply tap the shoot button and move the left stick left, right, or down. If you have enough stamina, you can keep this going for a pretty long time. Now for the main event, the park moves. This is the park size up, same as the in and out size up in a standing dribble. Simply hold sprint, tap the right stick towards your defender. Now for the fake pass over the head. Just like a snatchback, when you have contact with the defender, simply hold sprint, tap the right stick down or away. In my opinion, it's best done behind the three-point line with a good shooter. Take a look at this one. Definitely a cheese move. One arm fake pass over the defender's head. Same thing, make contact with the defender while holding sprint, then tap the right stick towards your non-ball hand. One other thing to point out, the players I'm using to do these moves have a 90 plus ball control. Notice how I did this multiple times in different angles to make sure they work. Now I don't know if I like this one as much because the defender doesn't seem as lost. While holding sprint, make contact, tap the right stick towards your ball hand. Yeah, yeah, this is illegal, but it's the park. Look at this, I've got Steph doing Kyrie's behind the back carry. While holding sprint, I tap the right stick towards my ball hand and he carried it behind his back. We had China in the prelude, might as well add in some of their street ball moves. I just made contact while sprinting, tapped the right stick towards my non-ball hand. And finally some nutmeg dribbles. Same thing, make contact while holding sprint and tap the right stick towards your non-ball hand. If you're lucky you'll get this animation. And again, you have to have a high ball control. And finally, the Sham God Nutmeg. While sprinting, as soon as you make contact, tap the right stick to your non-ball hand. 
Make sure you have a lot of stamina to pull off these moves and a high ball control. So this completes this year's ultimate dribbling tutorial. I had to remove a lot of clips because I didn't want to make a 15 minute video. As always, I go from memory, so if I made any mistakes, help the community by putting it in the comments. As always, smack that like button if this video helped, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.